Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about everything you need to know in order to get ready for the update that's going to be coming out tomorrow, the Doomsday Heist for Grand Theft Auto Online. That's right, so we're just a couple hours away from this massive update being released to Grand Theft Auto Online, but there's a couple things you need to know in order to get yourself ready for this DLC so that on day one you can enjoy it as much as possible. So let's get it started and let's jump into this. The first thing we need to discuss today is the release time of the update. So thankfully with this December update, Rockstar has actually confirmed the release of the DLC. If you guys remember back to last year in 2016 with Import-Export, they never formally announced a release date. Uh, we just kind of all had to assume it was going to be coming out the day it did. But this time we know for sure it's coming out on December 12th. However, a lot of people have been asking me, when is it actually going to be coming out on December 12th? Some people live over in Europe, in the UK. I know some people that live in Australia. I'm obviously in the US. And a bunch of people were wondering, when does it release? So let's talk about that right now. So every DLC except one has come out at the exact same time. And that is roughly around 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States. So I can do some quick math to give you guys a couple of uh, translations. So 5 a.m. on the East Coast of the United States is about 2 a.m. on the West Coast of the United States. And it's around 9 to 10 or 11 a.m. in Europe and in the UK, depending on where you are. However, that's about as far as I can go. What I'll do is I'll leave a time converter website in the description. So basically what you want to do is just plug in 5 a.m. Eastern time, and that'll tell you roughly when the update will be coming out for your part of the world. Now, the one interesting thing about that one update that was not released at 5 a.m., and that was the original heist update back in 2015. So that update ended up uh, being released at midnight Eastern time in the United States, which is about 9 p.m. Uh, on the West Coast, and it's about 4 or 5 a.m. in Europe and in the UK. So it is kind of ironic that the one update that involved Heist was not released at a normal time. Now, I'm not saying that Rockstar is going to do this here. Honestly, I think that was like a glitch or a mistake or something that Rockstar did. I really don't think they meant to release it at that time, but they did. And literally all the other updates we've received in the game have occurred at that early a.m., like 4 or 5 a.m. Eastern time, uh, for me at least. So that's when I predict that this one is going to be coming out as well. I do not suspect that it will be releasing at midnight. So either wake up early or stay up late or whatever the case is, uh, because that's when it's likely going to be coming out for, I would say, the majority of you guys watching this video. Now, in case you guys are not waking up or you're going to be at school or work and you want to make sure you have the update downloaded, what you can do is either leave your PC on or leave your console on. I know for a fact the way the consoles work is you can either put them into rest mode or you can leave them on. And as long as you have a setting turned on to automatically download and install updates, you'll be able to get this update going as soon as it's available on the consoles, which is actually a really good thing for number one, like I said, school, work, it doesn't stop for uh, DLC releases like this. I'm sure many of you guys are either in finals right now or dealing with last semester sort of projects or if you're working, you know, you're working on your end of the year stuff so you can leave your consoles on and it'll actually automatically download so that's good for that reason but also number two there's a good chance that this is going to be a huge DLC probably like a gigabyte or so, which is obviously gonna take a little bit of time to install and download. And even if you have really good internet, because it's running through the PlayStation 4 interface or the Xbox interface or Steam, uh, it's gonna take a little bit longer than you think. So having that extra time to prep your consoles and get it ready uh, will certainly be a good thing. And kind of a final note on the consoles, make sure your hard drive space is clear. Like I said, this update is probably gonna be around a gig or so, especially with a big DLC like that. So you wanna make sure your hard drive isn't completely full so that tomorrow when the update does come out, you're sitting there wondering, what the heck, why is my console or my system not downloading my game? Well, it's probably because your hard drive is completely full. So make sure you've got some cleared space, delete some betas that maybe aren't going on anymore, some demos you don't play anymore. That's probably a good idea. Now, I also get this question a lot. Is it going to be available on Xbox 360 and PS3? And the answer to that is no. So apparently there's a lot of people that still watch me that play on those older generation systems. And that's totally cool if you do. But this update is not going to be releasing for those uh, consoles. It's only going to be for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, 
and PC. Uh, for a while now, the 360 and the PS3 have not been getting this update, and the same thing is going to apply here. It's, it's not going to be coming to the older generation systems either. Now, one thing I'm hoping for tomorrow is that the Rockstar servers actually work. If you guys flash back to 2016, for about four hours after the update came out, the Rockstar servers just completely shut down. They were a wreck. And I was streaming during the time. It was so difficult to get into lobbies and games. And it was one of the most frustrating things of all time. So hopefully the servers are a little bit more on point with this one, especially Especially given the fact it looks like we're going to be playing these doomsday heists and kind of like heist private lobbies. So again, keep that in mind that the servers might be a little bit wonky at first with all the rush of players getting on. But hopefully Rockstar have learned their lesson over the last couple of years and have, you know, gotten them ready if they can even do that uh, for the update that's going to be coming out tomorrow. Now, in case you are excited about the content and want to check it out a little bit early, the way Rockstar uploads the DLCs to the consoles and the PC, we actually are able to see the vehicles and the content about two or three hours early. Now, I know that's not a ton of time early, but if you follow Foxy Snaps, who you've seen me use his information in previous videos, he'll actually have the content about two or three hours early on his Twitter account, which is really cool. So maybe you can't play the DLC right when it comes out because of school, but if you want to at least check out sort of the content that will be coming out when you can get back home, he's going to have the content a little bit early. He'll have pictures of it, names, stuff like that. Uh, we, you won't be able to figure out prices or customization. That has to really wait till the actual update is released. I don't know, in fact, how he acquires this stuff, uh, but he can get it a little bit early, which is really cool. So that's a nice way to check it out before the DLC actually arrives. Now, before we end today, let's talk about the things that are going to be going away today in terms of discounts, bonuses, and sales. So the first of which is the premium race and the time trial. The premium race is peer race and the time trial is storm drain. Those are going to be ending today, which you can see on December 11th. After that, it's going to be double GTA money and RP and the Rockstar created transform races. Those are going to be ending on December 11th as well. Also, the special vehicle work like the escape escort and the arms embargo uh, missions that you can do from your office laptop. Those are double money and RP as well. You've got double cash and RP in the biker contract missions that you can start from your clubhouse. Those are double RP as well, and it's also ending today. And then a bunch of adversary modes as well are having their double money and RP ending, motor wars, and stockpile, as well as every bullet counts and inch by inch and running back. And then you've got double salary for bodyguards and associates. Faster research and manufacturing is boosted by 25%. And then a couple of sales. You've got a Dynasty 8 executive sale, which features the offices and the office garages, the Maze Bank foreclosure sale, which features the bunkers and the hangers and the biker clubhouse. And then finally, last but not least, the Warstock cash and carry sale, which features an absolute ton of weaponized vehicles like the MOC, APC, Tampa, Night Shark, Half Track, Dune FAV, Karen Technical, Anti-Aircraft Trailer, and Buzzard Attack Chopper. So all of those sales, bonuses, and discounts are ending today, December 11th, although they technically won't end until very early in the morning on Tuesday, literally right before the new update is supposed to arrive in the game. So if you want to be a late night gamer or you want to get some last minute discounts or bonuses or sales going on, you still have an opportunity to do so there. Now, the last thing I want to discuss today is really my plans for tomorrow. So I plan on live streaming pretty early in the morning when it originally comes out. Um, I'm kind of not sure how the content is going to work. I'm not sure if the vehicles and the new items will be available from day one or if we'll have to complete the heist missions in order to do them. So we're kind of going to be playing it by ear, but we will be live streaming that uh, early in the morning. And then, of course, there'll be videos and potentially another stream throughout the day. So if you're not subscribed, I definitely recommend it as I'm going to be doing a lot of content over the next couple of days and then over the next week or two with the festive surprise DLC arriving. So it should be a pretty fun couple of days here in Grand Theft Auto Online. But anyways, that right there is my plan for the DLC. Hopefully you guys are ready as well. I know that it is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be really, really exciting. 
And I, I'm just thrilled that we're finally getting a really cool update in online that at least is a little bit different. You know, over the last couple months, we've been getting a lot of the same sort of the business repetitive updates. And this is the first one I feel like is a little bit different than the other. So hopefully Rockstar delivers. Hopefully everything else I talked about doesn't happen, like the servers going down and, you know, the update not being crazy big as far as downloads go. So like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. Are you excited for this DLC in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you are, let me know in the comments section down below. If you're also excited, be sure to drop a like rating on this video, that'd be awesome. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.